Hello friends, in this video, we will be discussing about strategies that can be employed for organizing suicide prevention screening in educational institutes. First, let's understand why student screening programs must be organized in educational campuses. Screening of students for suicide prevention and problems associated with it is easier in educational institutes than any other place in any community. Student screening can be done at wider level if planned creatively in institutes. Now let's discuss how these programs can be organized and what must be taken into consideration before organizing such programs. In educational institutes, screening can be done on various occasions without extra and independent arrangement of screening of students. The example of these occasions can be mental health week celebrations, special days celebrated in various countries, college festivals, etc. Screening can also be done on various events when student gathering is more. Stalls of screening can be put up with other events where stalls are being arranged for other events. Screening can also be done with medical camps. After choosing appropriate occasions for screening, a planning can be made to facilitate screening. The plan shall include advertising among students through pamphlets, social media, and volunteers to become aware about it. Student volunteers shall be trained to conduct such screening under supervision of mental health professionals. Screening may result in identification of at-risk students or students showing mental health concerns. These students can be connected immediately to mental health professionals through campus wellness or counseling center. If campus services are not available, then student can be referred to outside mental health professionals through referral services. Students who have been identified at risk and referred to services which needs to be contacted to ensure they met with counselors or mental health professionals. The number of students identified at risk needs to be prepared and reported to campus boards so that good strategies can be identified and implemented to serve these students and to prevent such problems. Thank you friends for being with us throughout the video. We hope that you will utilize the strategies discussed in this video for promotion of suicide screening in your campus.